Hey guys, can you guess what I'm doing? <laughs> yes, I'm out here relaxing in my swing and we're going to get right into it right now. If you're new to the channel, welcome and if not, welcome back. Please like and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. I see any more bees well I'll say those big old mama bees that will bother me but I was out today in the garden and I saw some worker bees and that made me so very excited look 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 <laughs> I'm not really afraid of these because they don't keep doing their job. They're not even worried about me. But those other bees, those things will hurt me. Alright. So I'm just super excited. I'm super excited. Oh boy, boy, boy. But I did come out here today because if you saw my last video about um blight, I wanted to do a couple of steps that I normally do with my tomato plants um, just to double check some things for a couple of reasons um, so I'm gonna walk over there and share with you what I'm doing today okay what I do let me stand back first what I do is I let my um, cucumber plant like fall over a little bit I do have some supporting things that support them in the front and I let them fall over like this so that I can come in real close and make sure I did not miss anything just in case I can't catch it from the front sometimes you can't catch these things from the front and I want to make sure that I remove all this because this is blight and this can destroy your tomato plants um and so I'm going to get in there and I'm going to cut all this off. And you don't have to cut the whole plant off. You can just cut off the leaves. This is like a sucker. You can cut that off if it don't have any bearing fruit on it if you want. Way to kind of come back from that if you if your whole plant start looking like this. So you can see that the other parts of the plants are very healthy. So you want to get in there and take care of that ASAP. I hope you guys can see because it's a lot of shade out here and I'm and I'm actually loving the shade because that keeps me a little warm too but I have my protective hat on that I bought um from Timu yes I've been getting another one y'all this thing makes me feel so comfortable when I'm working inside the garden like this because the bees are still coming out so step one I'm gonna cut off all these right now okay so this is a prime example of what you can do so see how this one is attached right to here say if you had some fruit on here what you can do is you can cut this one right here off and you can cut these down leaves off or you can take it right from here and cut that off uh oh got my worker bees over here but if you want to save it you can go through and cut off some of the pieces i'm going to clip the whole thing off because it's no use for me and I don't need that piece. This piece right here is a good piece that you can keep right there. So I'm going to do that real quick. And see how I left that? So that could still grow. That could still grow right there. I believe I got most of the blight back here. So the next step I'm going to do is secure some of these back up and attach them. Like this one can go. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to attach this one right here. And I'm going to attach a few more up as I go. But in the meantime, I'm going to get leaves out and stuff and backfill with some soil. So guys, I love these right here. These are so awesome. They stick together. I learned something that's so easy. All you got to do is cut it in this way. See? And listen to that. Okay, so you stick it.
and it does it. So I'm, I'm folding them onto the thing. So you'll see in one second. Okay, so you see that one there. And I put another one there. And so I also cut off quite a few of the leaves because you don't need those. And this is just something that you can do. You can work it your way, but these are just options that you can use to kind of clean up your garden how you see fit. I tell you one thing, clean up is definitely some work. <sighs> but you have to do it if you want to keep your garden disease free as much as you can. <sighs> I need a little break. I wish I um, had some mint out here. I do have some mint inside, so I think I might clip those off and make some mint tea because if you saw my last video, I talked about how that was a mint. And I'm going to do a picture and upload it so I can see what it really is. Because I really don't think it's mint. It didn't taste like mint. It was so strange. But okay, so that's enough of that talk. Let's get back to taking care of this um, tomato plant. So I'm going to go back on in there and get with um, backfilling the dirt so that the plant have opportunity to grow more because they do have those little um uh i can't think of the word of it at this moment but i'll get back to you in a minute <laughs> so i have the dirt in i'm gonna get to mend it in um piling it up around um the stalks of the tomato plant so that would encourage it to grow more Okay, guys, I don't want to miss it. This is that little bug that I seen on my other plants that I'm about to get right now. I wanted to try to get a picture, but he's trying to hide up under the plants. There he go. I got him. I'm going to see if I can upload this picture and see what this is. If y'all know what this is, let me know. Good or bad? Drop a comment. So another thing I meant to mention, as you are... um getting this back up on your trellis here if your tomatoes are top heavy like mines are it can be difficult and you may take a chance of breaking one of your um, tomato branches off so you do have to be careful when you do this so you got to decide if you want to trim as you go which is I feel that's best to start trimming off um, these when a small different little areas that don't have any suckers on them because then again your plants gonna be real heavy see how mine's leaning here uh this was a a sucker i let sprout now this is the main vine i could have let it just go all the way up to the top and cut all those off but i wanted to have more production so you do have to be careful when you are doing this or you will have a top heavy tomato plant and look guys i never seen a super small bee look at that bee over there piling now he is so teeny i hope y'all guys can see that oh my goodness i thought that was the cutest thing that's called a worker bee <laughs> i'm okay with those because they come out here to do their job and that's it so he pollinate the real real small ones all right let me get back to it because i've been out here for a minute so here's a little update on what I'm doing. See how clean this is starting to look? It also helps to kind of make it hard for any disease to come on because it got a lot of airflow. A lot of the leaves are cut down that don't really need to be on here. Like this one right here, I'm going to cut. No suckers on there. I still have this to do. But the good news is I'm cleaning up all of the diseased plants. See, I'm able to see all these right here. And that makes me happy because I don't want my plants to start um, dying off. And I don't know why they're dying off. You know, I can get in here real good and cut all this stuff off and be able to eat deliciousness 
without worrying about it being disease. All right, so let me get back to it. I'll show you a little update as I go along. Because again, I'm working with one hand here. And I'm going to pile that soil up down there, up some more, so it can get right on up there. And this plant will grow bigger than what it is. Six hours later, guys. I did um, push up some of the soil so it can grow a little bit more. I didn't really do a good justice. I'm about to come back out here to backfill. But I've been out here for like forever, feel like. So I'm going to go on in and be satisfied and happy for the work that I did in the garden today. All right, guys. Well, note to self, don't let this grow like this again. Try to prune and get everything. <gasps> a bee. It was coming my way. It was coming my way. It was a work of bee. I just backed out the way. All right, so I'm going to grab these little bit here because they look so pretty. I don't want them to start splitting, so I'm going to grab these off. I might leave that for a little bit longer. But look at these, guys. This one right here is absolutely beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, they look nice and plush. And then another thing, I can easily reach them. Look at that. No struggle to get in here and get these beautiful whew, tomatoes. Sorry, y'all. I am tired. I'm tired. Okay, I'm going to keep those on a little bit longer. Because I want those to go ahead and get a little bit more color. Whew. All right, guys. I'm happy. <laughs> Look, I got a whole... A few of them fell off too. I'm just gonna go ahead and sit them in my kitchen and hopefully they grow. Well, that's it for the day, guys. I'm about to go inside and get me a nice cold drink of water. And whew, I'm sorry, y'all. I am exhausted. Sorry, guys. I had to take that dang on hat off. I'm telling you. And get some real air while I was inside. But I'm going to let these, um, well, the ones that need to get greenery on them and get to the color they should be, I'm going to let those do that. I am absolutely tired, guys. But you know what? I got my cold glass water. I'm going to drink this water up. And I'm going to sit back. Mm. Mm. Whew. I am a hard worker. <laughs> I am a hard worker, guys. I did not know. <laughs> I didn't realize how long I was out there. I'm telling you, I really love the garden, but you know what? Yeah, I'm going to really be knocked out in about an hour after I go upstairs and jump in the shower and jump in the bed, and I'm going to be knocked out. And I'm going to give me another glass of ice. I got my ice upstairs. Um, I love those things. I had stopped drinking sodas look, about a week ago. <laughs> I am... No, don't don't um don't judge me okay <laughs> don't judge me i am trying guys i am so trying to stop drinking soda so i just start drinking ices it had like, like that little fuzzy sparkling stuff that's like soda is zero everything and they are really nice so i'm gonna give me some more ice and i'm gonna drink me about two ices and be right i'm telling you they are so delicious I wish I had some sparkling apple cider. You talking about some goodness? <laughs> delicious. Delicious. Well, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share what I was doing in the garden today. So hope that it helped others out there, new gardeners, professional gardeners, beginner gardens. I mean, gardeners, 
gardeners. <laughs> Sometimes I just crack myself up. Okay, guys, y'all have a blessed one. Peace and love. And bye.